Well, hello there, yogi friends. It's Melanie. Welcome to Feel Good Friday. Welcome to Nova Yoga Studio. And today I have a flow for you leading up to elephant's trunk pose, the arm balance. So let's get going. And we're going to start on our backs. And we're going to awaken our center. Come on down. Hands to the back of the head. Cross your right ankle over your left. And then squeeze your knees together. See how that gets you into your pelvic floor, your inner thighs, all of that strength that's going to help you fly. Take a breath in. Exhale, squeeze the knees and lift up. Inhale, lower. Exhale again, squeezing the knees, lifting the head, the shoulders, the heart up off the mat. Inhale. And exhale. Hold for an extra moment. Keep breathing. Soften your face and lower down. Take the legs the other way, left over right, left ankle over the right. Inhale, exhale, squeeze your knees and rise. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, holding, squeeze your knees and let it go. Little happy baby, taking the legs wide. And giving yourself just a rock and roll if you want, or you can stay still, keep your tailbone nice and heavy. Getting into our hips, so nice open hips are going to prepare us for the arm balance, for elephant's trunk pose. From there, bring your knee in, rock up, step back, downward dog. Take a few moments to really enjoy your downward dog, any sort of movement you want to add in, or maybe you like the stillness. Shake out your head, shake away anything that might be holding you back. Take a deep breath in. Out through your mouth. And then take your right leg towards the sky, bend your knee, open up your hip, look under your right armpit, inhale. As you exhale, bring your knee into your forehead, shoulders over the wrist, core plank. Come back into the hip opening, inhale. And exhale, take it in. Inhale, open up the hip. And exhale, draw the knee in. This time, step your foot forward. And we're going to come all the way up into your warrior two. Back heel ground, and your eyes all the way up into warrior. And here we focus on the hip opening in the warrior, right? Sometimes we forget that warrior two is a hip opening posture. Well, it is. You want to make sure that your front knee is moving towards the pinky toe edge of the foot, encouraging that peeling open up the hips. On your inhale, let's get a little, little taller, a little higher up into the warrior, so lifting your hips. And on your exhale, bend your knee, sinking into the warrior, maintaining that alignment of knee over ankle. Inhale. Exhale. Find it again. Inhale. And exhale. Take your hands down to the inside of your foot, lower your back knee, lizard pose. Walk your foot towards the outer edge of your mat, create space for yourself. From here you can bend your elbows, melt your chest down. Some of you might want to come down to the forearms. If you're here and you're craving extra openness to the hips, you can straighten your back leg. So holding for a couple of breaths here. back up. Walk your front foot towards the center of the mat. Press your palms down at either side of the foot. Step back. Plank pose. Take a breath in. Exhale. Lower down any which way you'd like. Inhale. Rising through your heart. Cobra or upward dog. Exhale. Hips to the sky. Down dog. Walk your, your hands back towards your feet. We're going to come to the back of the mat. Into our malasana, our yogic squat. So turn your toes out and sink your hips down between your heels. If your heels can't quite ground, that's okay. You can keep them lifted. If your heels can ground, you can press your palms together, bring your elbows to the top or to the inside of your knees. If your heels are lifted, you might feel better taking your hands to the mat. We're gonna hold for a couple of breaths here in the hip opening. Make sure you encourage your spine to be long. And then coming into the fold, 
Lower your hands down, lift your hips up, and walk your feet closer together. I'd like you to shift your weight into your left foot. Bring your hands to your hips. And bring your right knee in towards the belly as you rise to stand. We're going to take Buddha pose, so bring your ankle to your knee. Keep your lifted foot flexed. Keep that knee moving away from you. And then sit down and back into the pose. We're going to press the palms together and bring the thumbs to the third eye. So here, we're working balance, stability, strep, but we're also working hip opening. Lots of space in that outer right hip. Rising up, take the knee in. Lift the arms high, and we're going to seesaw down, so hands to the mat. Keep the leg lifted as you walk your hands forward. Coming into down dog split, and then we're going to come into single pigeon. So slide your knee forward to the back of the wrist, lower your shin down, and extend your back leg out behind you. Come high into the fingertips, and we're going to wave the spine, staying active in our pigeon as we allow the hips to open. So inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, wave forward. Inhale to roll up. And exhale. Two more. Exhale. And two more breaths. And then coming on up, you're going to gently shift the weight into the right hip as the back leg swings around. You're going to keep that left leg straight, extending in front of you, extending out in front of you. And we're going to come into a seated hip opener. So you can either take the leg forklift style and give yourself a little rocking there. Or you can take it baby style. You can bring your foot to your inner elbow as the other arm wraps around the knee. So either position as you very gently rock the hip. I want you to approach this arm balance with a very open mind. Sometimes what stops us is up here before we even try. So let go of anything that's holding you back and approach the pose with an open mind and an open heart. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and work the leg up over the arm. So this takes a couple of tries, right? So we take the, the right hand down and we work the knee over the arm, over the shoulder. And maybe this is where you are for a while. This is what you practice, right? So a couple of tries to get the leg high up over the arm. And we're gonna take the left hand to the outer edge of the foot, planting the palm down, squeezing the calf into the arm. So really squeeze that leg into the upper arm. It's gonna help keep the leg there. Once you're, you're squeezing tightly, you're gonna be able to release your other hand and you're going to press down into your hands, lift your seat, lift your leg, elephant's trunk pose, breathe, 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 and set it down. <sighs> you can try that again, or you can change it up a little bit. If you prefer, make sure your leg is not slipping, you can take that bottom ankle over the top, crossing the ankles, press down into your hands, lift your seat, holding here. If you want to go a little deeper into Astavakrasana, begin to squeeze the knees together as you extend the legs out, and then you're going to bend your elbows, bring your chest down towards the mat like chaturanga. Keep squeezing those knees together. And release. Well done. Forward fold. Step onto your hands. Hasta Padavastasana. Nice counter position for the wrist. Press your feet down. Lift your hips up. And bow into the floor. And if your hip flexors are zinging, it's because they're working a lot in this pose. They're, they're doing a lot to lift you up. And so you might feel that sensation, that magic in your hip flexors. Release your hands, take them to the mat, step back into plank, a little vinyasa, before we switch sides. Lift your left leg up, bend your knee, open your hip, inhale. Exhale, take it in, knee to the nose. Inhale, open up. Exhale, take it in. One more 
our breath. Inhale, open up the hip. Exhale, draw the knee in and up. Step the foot forward. Rising up to warrior two. Arriving in the pose. Hips opening. Front thigh spinning open externally, rotating. Core connection. Pulsation, inhale, rising. Exhale, deepen. Inhale, exhale, one more breath, inhale, exhale, and take your hands to the inside of your foot, lower your back knee, walk your hands towards the outer, or sorry, walk your foot towards the outer edge of the mat, lizard pose. So from here, we're going to bend the elbows and melt the chest down. If you want to come to the forearms, you can, if you want to straighten your back leg, you can. Couple of breaths here into the hips. And then releasing your pose, walk your foot back towards center, place your hands down, step back into plank pose, take a vinyasa. Inhale, open the heart, exhale, lift your hips. Walk your hands back to your feet, coming down into malasana, low yogic squat, so turning the toes out, sinking the, heel, the hips down between the heels, and holding here. Encourage the spine to be long, the heart to be open, the hips to be wide. And then coming into your forward fold, walk your feet closer together. Shift your weight into the right foot, take your left knee into the chest as you come to stand. Buddha pose, ankle to the knee, foot remains flexed, sit down and back into the pose. Taking your palms together, thumbs to the third eye. Breathing here. Hip opening and balance. Come all the way up. Bring your knee in, keep the leg lifted. Hands come to the mat and we're going to walk forward into down dog split. Take the knee forward, moving into pigeon, lower your shin. Slide your back leg down. Come onto the fingertips. Inhale, lift to the heart. And exhale, come forward to the fold. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. all the way up, shift into that left hip, swinging the back leg around. And so you're sitting with your right leg straight, and you're either going to take the leg forklift style to continue to open the hip, or you can take it baby style, just gently rocking the hip. And then we're going to go for it again, Ekka Hasta Bhujasana, elephant's trunk pose. So we're going to work the leg up over the arm. I'm going to take a couple of tries to get the leg high up over the arm. You can take your right hand to the outer edge of your foot, squeeze that leg into your arm, and set your left hand down. Keep squeezing the leg down into the arm so that the right hand can press into the mat. You can release that foot. Press down into your hands. Lift your seat. Lift your hips. Rising, rising, rising. <sighs> Reset the leg if you want or if you need. If you want to come into the second step, you can cross your bottom ankle over the top. Keep squeezing that leg into the arm. Rising up, press into your palms. Lift your hips. If you want to begin to take it into Asavakrasana, you're going to extend the legs out, squeezing your knees together, bending the elbows as the chest comes forward. Ah, and release. And there you have it. From there, let's just take it into a little, a little bit of kanasana to treat the hips. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.